Shut up and sit down. Hey, and welcome to the Freya MMA podcast. Join us in our discussion about the beautiful sport, which is mixed martial arts. Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Freya MMA podcast. And today we are speaking to Ali Taleb, who is 3-0 and finding out of Redline Academy in Malmö. He will be fighting on June 18th at UAE Warriors Arabia. So if you've got some time, check that out. So here is our interview with Ali Taleb. Hello, Ali. How are you doing? Good, brother. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, before we just jump into the interview, if you just want to give some information about who you are and uh, what we're going to be speaking about in this podcast. Yes. My name is Ali Taleb and I'm 24 years old. And uh, yeah, I have three and all in MMA, professional MMA career. And uh, we're going to talk about upcoming fight in Dubai. Rubbish. So before that, we'd speak a bit about your journey into MMA. Uh, what got you into this uh, crazy but yet beautiful sport? My, uh, my, old, uh, uh, my old trainer, he, he was in the school. And then we start training together, start gra- grappling, and then yeah, I go over to to Redline uh, two years two years with uh, with my with, with my old uh, coach my old team. So uh, yeah, I had a lot of problems when I was younger. Then uh, then I just started with MMA, make me to. Come down. So, so and, uh, yeah. So it was like a like a discipline thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like uh, yeah. so so you're at Redline now. Uh, I hear a lot of great stuff coming out of that gym. Would you say that uh, it is top level athletes that you're training with there? Yeah, they are good. They are good. They have uh, people like there. I've now started the the uh, one 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 o two o three o pro. Yeah, and you got a few great amateurs there as well, right? Yeah, great, and we have great fighters and amateur fighters. Uh, so yeah, let's talk a bit about your your record as well. Three and o as a pro, that's an amazing yeah. uh, record, and all of them finishes as well. I just have three and o. And uh, take a step by step. I have my feet on the ground. And just, yeah. I mean, sometimes it is a bit hard for people to get all finishes in their fights. It's just, just no. the way you are, or? Brother, when I'm there in the cage, everything is done, you know? Just me and him, and uh, we handle, handle business. And uh... so, when I'm there, I am a different person. Outside, humble, and, yeah. Do what I love. Uh, could you? Are you able to bring the phone a bit closer to you? It's a bit hard to hear. Yeah. Oh. There, there we go. Um. So we we'll talk a bit about the uh, the last time you fought because um, before uh, UAE Warriors, you were supposed to be fighting at Fight Club Rush, but uh, a lot of fighters started falling out about that. How was your mentality during this time? Yeah, like you said, uh, I, I was supposed to be fighting in the uh, in March, and then uh, my opponent yeah, uh, he had injured his hand, and then the second one uh, he said yes, and then after two three days he he didn't want to fight, and. Uh, and the next one, uh, I think he gets injured too, something like that. Mm-hmm. So I have a long fight camp, and and then uh, yeah, I get 
contact with the with a person from Abu Dhabi, and he said, if you want to fight, we can you can fight next week. You're fighting a guy with the seven of three record, and uh, all I think about is just to get in there and fight mm-hmm. and show myself. Huh? It's a good opportunity to fight in Abu Dhabi, and then I just took it. Yeah, I mean, especially after having such a extensive camp, I mean, you've already done all the fight preparation for two fights, shall I say, so of course you were to jump yeah. in there and release that aggression there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it was hard, you know, but uh, but this opportunity has come once in a life. Either you take it or you, you leave it. Mm-hmm. So I took it. Would you say there was a big difference in, uh, should I say, the, the shows in your homeland of Sweden and then the shows in uh, in the Emirates? Would you say that there, there's a there's a big difference between the two? Yeah, it's a big difference, you know. When uh, when I'm fighting here, it's I have everybody supporting me, my family, and everybody comes and uh, see when I'm fighting. But in Abu Dhabi, it's different level, you know. It's uh, I can I can't explain it, but uh, it's good. It's good. It feels good to fight fight outside the country, and uh, and the warriors is uh, is amazing, amazing place to fight in. Oh, would you say that uh, it's also the place that you are? I mean, I've heard a lot of great things about th- that part of the world. I mean, you know, everyone goes to holiday in those kind of places, so. Yeah, is yeah. the pool life like nice as well? Yeah, yeah. it's it's feel like a holiday when I'm there in Abu Dhabi. And you get to I, go in the cage. I know I'm gonna fight too. Mm-hmm. I have a fight, so I have to focus. But uh, it feels good to be there and the weather and everything there. Nice people, and, yeah. And you also said that you jumped in on quite short notice, like a week or two, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah like ten days before the the fight. Are you, are you a person that cuts a lot of weight for a fight or was it was you kind of in that region when you got the call no when i you know uh this fight would be sad go down with the weight and everything and then uh, and then then nobody wants to fight then go up weight plus maybe like nine kilos mm-hmm. so in 10 days i go like 19 kilos. Down. So it was easier when I was in uh, in Abu Dhabi, you know? Mm-hmm. The weather, everything there. Yeah, you don't need to sit in the sauna, you just need to sit on the beach and sweat it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beach and do some pads. It... And the weight is gone. Yeah, it, it sounds like a, a nice life. So Yeah, it's a nice life. Well, I am uh, so, so happy and get the opportunity. So you have uh, your next fight uh, June 19th, is that correct? Uh, June 18th. 18th, okay. Yeah. It might have been the time zone thing that I got the dates uh, a bit co- incorrect. Uh, has the fight been announced who your opponent is yet? I know I think like next week they, they get they get uh, um, fight oh. for me and him so they'll release it next week or yeah i think so. okay okay but i'm no i'm no who i'm always fighting you're you already I'm started fighting. preparing yeah yeah he's a striker kickbox okay kickboxer okay with three and oh i think yeah oh don't give too much away i think everyone will start googling soon and seeing if they can find him yeah, I think the warriors uh, they put some pictures on him, and I just knew it was him. Okay, okay. Uh, so what's your feeling going into this fight now? I mean, you're already on a a great tear with three and zero. I'm I'm sure you want to keep your record and everything, but what can we expect in this fight coming up? War, brother. They just get war from me. I'm gonna go in there and show the people. Who, who I am, 
again. I will give the the fans and everybody there a good fight. Is it always a war mentality when when you step in? It's a war mentality. Yeah, I'm there. Different. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do you know where people could would be able to watch it from from Sweden and and around Europe? Yeah, I think they in the uh, what's it called now in the uh, farm sport in sport. I think like this. Okay. Yeah, I will put something when I'm there. Yeah, yeah. So I'll also be able to find it and put a link in the description underneath as well. Yeah. Um. So. We usually take uh, this time for the guests to thank any like people that are helping them, friends, family members, or sponsors. So this would be your time to do so. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody who is uh, behind me and supporting me, my family, my friends, my coach, my teammates, and everybody in Abu Dhabi, over everybody, just everybody, my sponsors and all. Who is behind me and supporting me? So we will show them in uh, 18th of June. We will show them again. Well, there we go, everyone. 18th of June at the UAE Warriors in uh, coming from Arabia. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So everyone should uh, check it out. There'll be links in the description underneath or above or wherever you're watching it. Uh, miss- Ali, thank you for your time, and uh, everyone make sure to follow him as well. Thank you so much, brother. All right. Thank you, my man.